Hi, Google admins. Today we're going to talk about YouTube. Um, YouTube can sort of be a tech director's thorn sometimes. Never fails that teachers forget to get a link whitelisted and then it becomes an emergency because they're teaching that lesson and the link's not working. And there's actually controls within YouTube for YouTube within admin that let you um, give that that control over to the teachers to approve videos. So I'm going to show you how to do that today, how to activate those controls. So in your main Google admin panel, you would go to apps. And YouTube is an additional Google service, so you would click here. And then you just scroll down. It's the last one, so it's on my second page here. And you find your YouTube and you click on YouTube. And this is going to spit you out here. So in order to give these teachers the controls, you do need to cut it on for everyone. This is going to allow students to sign into YouTube. Not as scary as it sounds. Not as scary as it sounds. Um, you come down here to content settings. And you'll see that it gives you these directions for setup. So since I want to allow my teachers to approve videos, I'm going to go ahead and have that clicked in. Okay. So what you do down here on permissions is this is going to pop you out to those organizational units. So I come here to staff. These are my teachers. And I give them can approve videos. All right. I pop over here to students and I put them on strict restricted YouTube access. All right. So the important things to cut on first whoopsies, are the service status. And then you want to make sure that the special approvers are on. OK, so I mean, that's it. That is it. It is active. My teachers can now approve videos. And so how that looks for them, if they pop over to YouTube. And we'll just click on this video. Um, on this video and notice that this bar now comes up. This bar says approve. That's all the teacher has to do is hit approve. That's it. And now they can share the link with the with the students by copying and pasting the link right here and the students can access the video. So this does give your teachers a good bit of control, um, but I always would rather them them have control and address those issues that come up if they do even come up. So under apps, under additional services, under YouTube, make sure you cut on for everyone and then you allow for people to set those permissions. And then when you go to the permission panel, that's where you drill down for um, the different organizational units, right? So I have public on strict, I have staff on can approve videos, and I have students on strict. All right, well, as always, if you need any Google admin help, let me know and have a great day.